Namaste students. Welcome to Educator Guru YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss second year PUC accountancy not for profit organization chapter one mark questions. So as you all know, the question paper has section A which has one mark questions. So I am going to give you a few questions discussed here. The first question is donations for specific purposes are always capitalized state true or false donations are usually a one-time payment to the not-for-profit organizations so it is always capitalized it's not a revenue item so the statement is true not-for-profit organizations are used for the welfare of dash that is the second question as you all know the definition of not-for-profit organization is they are not a profit making organizations so it is always for the welfare of the society third question not for profit organizations are performed or sorry formed for dash <coughs> sorry the options are profit service profit and service none of these so the answer is service give an example for non-profit organization you can mention any charitable institution hospitals public libraries anything that serves the society can be added in this list give an example for specific donation fifth question donation for buildings so when you relate this to the first question it the statement clearly says donation for specific purposes in the first question here the same can be related in the fifth question what is the specific donation the answer given here is donation for buildings so spending money on buildings is the specific purpose that we are discussing here so the example can be donation for buildings sixth question receipt and payment account is a summary of dash book it is cash book it is nothing but cash book receipts and payments account involves cash receipts and cash payments seventh question dash are the amounts received as per the will of the deceased person so when a person writes a will saying that his estate or his uh, property whatever he has goes to a particular charitable foundation that becomes legacies legacies are always receipts for the non-profit organizations life member fees life membership fees is treated as dash it is treated as capital receipt as the name itself says life membership so it is a one-time fee so it is always a capital receipt ninth question name any one final account for non-profit organization so it is income and expenditure account the example under the final accounts whatever we prepare you can choose one of them and write it here tenth question capital and revenue items are recorded in receipt and payment account state true or false so the statement is true always in receipt and payment account both capital and revenue items will be recorded because whether you receive as a capital item in cash or whether you receive as a revenue item in cash both are cash receipts so in receipts and payment account both are recorded government grant is treated as dash receipt it is a revenue receipt so government grant can be an yearly grant can be a monthly grant so something which is recurring is revenue we are going to discuss second year puc accountancy not for profit organizations two marks questions so for each of the questions we are providing here with you the answers and the explanation so i have tried to get in the most number of questions possible in non-trading organizations or not for profit organizations here so let us start with the first question state the meaning of not for profit organization not for profit organizations refers to the organizations that are used for the welfare of the society and are set up as charitable institutions which function without any profit motive so anything that is for not for profits it comes under not for profit organization they do not have a business motive so if you can write two to three sentences for each question it is enough so make sure that you do not exceed the three to four lines because whatever you write it can fetch you only two marks next question give any two examples of not-for-profit organizations so i have given five examples here 
you can write any two whichever comes to your mind hospitals sports clubs recreational clubs charitable trusts educational institutions state any two features of not for profit organizations so again there are four features here in this video we have tried to give you a few more uh, information rather than what is it is asked for but it doesn't mean that you have to write all the four so when they say you have to write only two features or two functions or name any two books then two is enough do not write more than that formed for providing services to the public they do not undertake business activities the main sources of income are subscriptions and donations and the funds that are raised through various sources are credited to capital fund so you have to remember here in balance sheet of non not for profit organization you can see we don't mention it as capital instead we mention it as capital fund so this is very very important you have to remember this and this comes under not for business or not for profit or organizations only that is where we use the word fund name any two books of accounts maintained by not for profit organizations so again they have asked for two books you can either write cash book ledger journal register of members this is books of accounts these are not name of the accounts so do not write receipts and payment account or income and expenditure account here don't get confused these are the books that they are asking for so under accounting we maintain cash book which is which is a necessity for all the organizations whether it it is for profit or not for profit so cash book ledger journal and register of members state the meaning of receipts and payment account receipts and payments account is a summary of cash and bank transactions which helps in the preparation of income and expenditure account and the balance sheet so receipts and payments account is very important um, dr shrikanteshwara sir in the future videos will give you an idea of how receipts and payment account is prepared and with the help of receipts and payments account how you can prepare income and expenditure account and balance sheet will also be taught to you in the same youtube channel next is the meaning of income and expenditure account again it captures the all the incomes and all the expenses for the year and it is more like a profit and loss account which is prepared for a business organization so under business organizations we prepare profit or loss account in non for profit we prepare income and expenditure account because we cannot term Uh, a word called profit or loss unless we are doing business that is sheer common sense so here since we do not do business we cannot name anything as profit or loss what are the features of receipts and payments account it is a summary of cash book so it is more or less like a cash book which means whatever comes to you in in terms of cash or accrual basis is considered here it shows the total amounts of all receipts and payments irrespective of the period to which they pertain so whatever comes to you in the form of cash whether it belongs to this year or next year everything is taken under receipts and payment account as it is already said here it is more or less like a cash book it includes all receipts and payments account whether they are of capital nature or of revenue nature so while discussing one mark questions we we had learnt about the nature of income and expenditure whether it is capital or revenue capital here means one time receipt or one time payment revenue here means whether it is a recurring payment or a, you know recurring income or recurring expenditure so capital is one time revenue is recurring so both are considered under receipts and payment account what is subscription how is it calculated subscription is a membership fee paid by the member on an annual basis it is calculated by taking current year subscription plus receivables and deducted previous years and next year subscription and the balance amount treated as subscription for the year so subscription is nothing but a member who pays the membership fees on an annual basis so it is basically an income to the not for profit organization so here 
for a particular year we have to consider only that year's subscription so for example when we are in a particular accounting year there are people who come to us to the non profit organization and pay the previous year membership and they may also pay the next year membership also so those should be deducted from the current year and only the subscription pertaining to that year should be considered that is what you have to capture in this answer what is capital fund how is it calculated it consists of capitalized receipts such as legacies life membership fees entrance fees and donation for the current year and excess of income over expenditure of the current year capital fund is a difference between assets and liabilities of non profit organization so as i mentioned earlier in terms of capital for business organization it is somebody who is investing in the business so that amount is called capital so since here we are not doing any business there is nobody to invest so there are people who come to us and who give us donations special donations maybe uh, there are philanthropists who give us uh, probably to the non profit organization building which is in their name and they give it as gift to you know a big not for profit organization and ask the uh, charitable institution to take over that building so the amount of building is huge and that has to be capitalized and that becomes capital fund what are the basic features of income and expenditure account income and expenditure account basically it is a nominal account again here i have given you four statements you can only write two a nominal account and it is prepared from receipts and payment account and other information accruals of receipts and payments accounts are also considered difference is treated as profit or deficit for the year examples of revenue expenditure again this we have discussed in detail in one mark question land purchased buildings purchased furniture purchased machinery purchased they are all examples of capital expenditure give two examples of revenue receipts revenue receipts rent received interest received commission received so these are all recurring items that is why they come under the option revenue give any two examples for capital receipt so something that you receive occasionally once in lifetime that becomes capital receipts it could be donations legacies endowment fund life membership fees etc what is capital fund capital fund is the excess of assets over liabilities it is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet fifteenth question state two differences between receipts and payments account and income and expenditure account again there are six differences here so the reason i have uh, given it here is for you to make sure if, even if this question is asked for Uh, any number of questions which is more than 2 marks it is easy for you to answer on the basis of purpose it is prepared to know the cash receipts and cash payment on the basis of income and expenditure account it is prepared to know whether there is an excess of income over expenditure or expenditure over income so whenever the difference question is asked to you you have to make sure that you are writing in this format this is very very eye catching and it is easy for the valuer to value your questions nature of account it is real account and this is nominal account basis of accounting this is based on cash system and this is based on accrual system opening and closing balance this commences with an opening balance receipts and payment account but here there is no opening balance it ends with surplus or deficit nature of items it contains actual receipts and payments and this contains only revenue items that is only revenue in nature because this is more like like a profit or loss account if you can observe in a business organization profit and loss account also contains only revenue items it doesn't contain capital items period all cash receipts and payments made during the year pertaining to the past period current period and subsequent periods are recorded in receipts and payments account but in income and expenditure account it contains only the items relating to the current period 
16th question what are legacies legacies are the gifts received from the deceased person as per his will it is a capital legacy so as i told you earlier it could be a gift like a building from a person who is dead he he might have written a will saying that the building goes to a particular charitable institution if there are no uh, ancestors if there are no uh, successors for him or her so that comes under legacies what is honorarium honorarium is the payment to a person for the services rendered by him to the organization so this is basically like for a charitable in institution there could be some guest lecture which happens from an expert so there there could be some amount of payment that has to be made to that uh, you know the special guest who comes in so that becomes honorary give the meaning of endowment fund endowment fund is a property or money given by way of gift by a donor for a not this is more than this is more or less like legacies how do you treat tournament expenses when separate tournament fund is not maintained so this usually comes under uh, sports clubs or entertainment clubs where there are sport uh, undertaken so first when you when you have tournament expenses when there is no tournament fund then it should be treated as a revenue expenditure and debited to income and expenditure account if there is a fund the expenses should be deducted from the fund so basically fund is maintained for a specific purpose when it is a specific fund the expenses go to, goes out of that fund itself how do you treat prizes awarded when prize fund is maintained so treated as capital expenditure deducted from prize fund on liability side of the balance sheet so it becomes a, a liability item in the balance sheet when there is a specific fund give the meaning of incidental trading activity incidental trading activity is an event which is occurred uncertainly see we have to be very careful here when when you are using the word trading activity this means a not for profit organization is conducting a business no it's not like that for example there is a let's say orphanage for girls and the girls will prepare some um, newspaper bags you know like thousands and uh, thousands of newspaper bags are uh, prepared in their orphanage itself with the help of uh, the children or the girls in the orphanage so these newspaper bags can be you know uh, traded or can be um, uh, sold probably in an exhibition or in some kind of uh, market and the proceeds that come out of it is the incidental trading profits that that is considered in the not for profit organization so this is this is not a regular business activity so which means the aim of the charitable institution is not to prepare newspaper bags and sell it it is just uh, you know one kind of a activity that play, takes place once in a while show the treatment of following items by a non profit organization so this has been answered as a 12 marks question but in case if any of these uh, are given as uh, an individual question you can also answer them by looking at this annual subscription so actual subscription received during an accounting year and uh, the later subscription uh will be transferred to income and expenditure account only to the extent of current year so we have discussed this subscription received related to previous year will be deducted next years will be shown in the balance sheet subscription due but not received should be added to subscription received on income and expenditure account credit side and same should be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet as receivable that is amount due but not received so basically this is just like any other receipt capital receipt so whatever comes to us goes directly into receipts and payment account only the portion which is current year goes to income and expenditure account something which is received in advance goes to liability side something which is not yet received goes to asset side as simple as it is specific donation again we, we discussed this before it is given in detail here since it is for 12 marks amount received as specific donation should be shown on receipt side as it is a receipt and it is a capital receipt in nature so it should be shown on li liability side of the balance sheet 
and any payment made for that specific purpose to that extent should be deducted from the balance sheet amount shown in the previous year balance sheet. Any amount received during the year should be added to the previous year balance sheet. So there is, let's say this is a building donation. So the building expenses can be deducted from the building donation and if there is an additional building donation given by somebody else that should be added to this building donation. Sale of fixed assets. The assets in the business will be sold for many reasons. In case of such sales during the year, the accounting treatment is as follows. Sale of assets is the receipt and such sale of assets. Please remember, this is a capital receipt because you don't sell asset every day in charitable organizations or not for profit organizations. So there could be some, uh, um, you know, situations where you might have to sell an asset. For example, furniture. So you might have to get rid of some old furniture and you are uh, going for a new uh, uh, refurbishment. So in that case, furniture is an asset and you are selling it. And this is how you are treating in the accounts books. Uh, it is a capital receipt. The book value should be deducted from the existing assets balance. Of course, this is like any other business organization that we do the same way we do for not-for-profit also. In case of any loss on sale of fixed assets, it should be debited to income and expenditure account. Any profit on sale of fixed assets should be shown on the credit side of income and expenditure. So, if the furniture value is 20,000 and you are selling it for 15,000, 5,000 is your loss. This you are going to show it on income and expenditure account as a loss. So, if it is sold for 30,000 rupees, 10,000 of profit is shown again on income and expenditure account on the credit side. Sale of old periodicals or sale of old newspapers. Again, this is a revenue receipt because you subscribe to newspapers every day and there are lots and lots of newspapers that is collected in uh, libraries or clubs or wherever, whatever charitable organization you you take for example there you're going to sell it and it becomes a income so this should be recorded in receipts and payments account and also in income and expenditure account sale of sports materials here i have to highlight one more thing when i say the receipts out of the sale of old newspapers and periods should be shown on the debit side of receipts and payments account please don't get confused receipts and payments account is a real account because it is recorded as a cash book so if it is on the debit side of receipts and payments account it is nothing but debit what comes in so cash is coming in out of the sale of old newspapers so that is why it should always be on the debit side on the other hand, when it comes to the income and expenditure account, it should be on the credit side because income and expenditure account is a nominal account. Nominal account principle says debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. So since it is an income, it comes under the credit side. Sale of sports materials. Sale of sports materials is a capital receipts and the accounting treatment is a treatment of fixed assets. Sale of fixed assets. So, so sports materials is a part of fixed assets. So when, when there is a huge sports material um, which is lying in your uh, uh, charitable institution and you're going to sell it, it becomes a capital receipt because please remember you do not sell uh, the sports materials day in and day out because it's not a business organization you have purchased sports materials for the purpose of entertainment for the subscribers or the members and once in a while if there is a need to sell them that becomes a uh, capital item so the same way there is life membership fees so this is also a, a lifetime uh, uh, you know item for non-profit uh, organization so it is a revenue for an organization so it should be shown on the debit side of receipts and payment account and subsequently in the balance sheet also so thanks for your time keep watching educator guru youtube channel thank you